Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at pedals in which you can run large language models at home using a BitTorrent style architecture. Now, you are able to fine tune and inference up to 10 times the speed for different efficiency and offloading for different types of large language models. Now, this is an innovative and groundbreaking project that basically empowers users to harness the power of large language models from the comfort of your own CPU or utilizing Google Colab. Now, this is all built off of a decentralized BitTorrent style architecture. The basic architecture and platform offers an ingenious solution to the resource intensive nature of running large language models by empowering the actual principles of a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing. Now, this is quite remarkable as to how they built this architecture, and it's something that we'll check out later on in the video. You're basically able to distribute the computational task among multiple participants. If you might have used BitTorrent, you're able to notice that you have a sharing feature in which you can seed different files to other users to help basically download or help like unload different files or packages to other people across the whole web. Now this unique approach enables users to basically perform tasks like text generation using distributed models like Llama 2, which is the new one that was recently released with the 70 billion parameter one or even the 13 billion parameter. And you can even utilize Llama 65 billion parameter, which is the original one, Gonako, as well as Bloom. And from these models, you're able to fine tune the to a specific requirement that best meets your preference. Now, this is something that I'm going to showcase as to how you can actually fine tune and how you can actually utilize this on Google Colab. This is absolutely amazing as to how you can do this. Uh, you can also do this on a local computer. And this is something that I'll showcase later on in the video. But with that thought, guys, in today's video, I'm going to showcase a little bit more about what Pedal is, talk a little bit more about what you can actually do how you can actually do it and some of the features and taking a look at the architecture and with that thought guys it would mean a lot to me if you guys can go on twitter and search up world of ai and follow it if you guys haven't already i'm going to be posting the latest ai content here so you you can stay up to date by going and following world of ai now one thing i want to state is that we have just recently hit 13k subscribers this is absolutely groundbreaking for me and i am speechless guys because this is something that i did not expect at all i just want to say from the bottom of my heart i'm so thankful for everyone who supports this channel and who does things to actually help support it by maybe even donating by sending something a uh, good comment in the description or telling me what to actually do because you guys are the real ones who have built this amazing channel so i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for always supporting me in creating more content it keeps me going to helping you guys provide the best content for you guys so i just want to say thank you guys so much for everything i'm going to keep working my hardest to make sure that you guys are up to date with the ai content so that you guys can basically benefit so much from this i'm going to make sure that all you guys are able to get the best value the best content so that it can make your lives better and you're able to have such an amazing life because of ai and the content that we share off this channel that's my goal guys because i i simply want to make a better life for everyone because in the joy of others lies our own and this is something that i live by because of someone named brahmuk sai maharaj and this is something that i really want to live by and this is something that I can do so with this channel. So I just want to say thank you guys so much. Let's get to 20k next. Let's keep going. And I'm going to make sure I keep posting and making sure that I can give you the best content. So with that thought, guys, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video. And if you guys have seen any of my previous videos, definitely do so because there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. Now, if you guys want to support the channel in which I'll be using the money to put it back into the channel, you can do so by buying me a coffee. And with that thought, guys, let's get right into the video. So one standout feature of pedals is its remarkable efficiency. And this is something that helps boost the fine tuning and inference speed up to 10 times faster than any traditional offloading approaches. This efficiency is basically stemming from the actual collaborative efforts of numerous distributed nodes, which basically con contributes to the processing power to tackle complex natural tasks that are being built 
by the actual NLP system. And this is something that I talked about at the start of the video in which it replicates a BitTorrent type of architecture and it's now being utilized to run large language models easily on your own CPU. And the project support is used basically off of an array of large language models that ensures that the users can basically utilize different models with a wide range of natural processing tasks whether it's from like complex chatbot interactions or like text generations or even like nlp endeavors and what this is basically able to do is that pedals can enable users to leverage the advanced capabilities of these pre-trained models without the need for expensive server infrastructures now from this pedals is able to cater to a diverse preference of users which is basically allowing you guys to run a distributed model on your own local desktop or even run it off of a cloud-based uh, google collab environment now this flexibility is going to allow anyone to utilize this application you're able to fine tune uh, as well as use the inferences to boost the speed and efficiency for doing different things with different large language models. So this is something that I'll definitely check out later on in the video so you can get a better idea. Now guys, I'm going to leave all the links in the description below, but I highly recommend that you check out some of these examples as well as these tutorials as you'll get a better understanding that goes more in depth step by step with many different things correlated with pedals. Now guys, before I move on further into the video, I want to talk a little bit more about the key features that are correlated with pedals. Firstly is the main pitch of this project, which is the decentralized BitTorrent style architecture. And this is where pedals was able to embrace the concept of decentralization that has been inspired by BitTorrent protocol. It's utilizing the same type of architecture in which you can download or send packages very faster uh, with a seeding type of architecture. And this is something that is seen with when you're actually utilizing torrent or uh, BitTorrent, sorry. And this is something that you might not get a better idea of unless you know what it actually is. But to get a better understanding, it's basically able to distribute computational tasks across a whole network of participating users. You're basically able to use different people's computational resources collectively to generate and fine tune different models and this is the same thing that you can do with BitTorrent where you're collaborating with many different types of seeders to download the files faster or send a file or upload a file but in this case you're breaking the nodes into smaller torrents and this is basically by breaking the large language models into smaller chunks so that people can download it all together in different chunks across the whole web. And this is absolutely remarkable as to how this was actually made or even thought about because I had no idea something like this is even uh, like achievable. Now, secondly, another feature is the enhanced efficiency. And this is the most significant advantage of pedals as you're able to have crazy speed with this amazing application by offering up to 10 times faster for fine tuning and inferencing the compared to traditional offloading methods. Now this remarkable speed up is basically achieved through the collaborative efforts of distributing peers, which is the thing that we talked about pre previously. Now, it's able to also support many different models in which you have different powerful languages such as Llama 2, the new ones that we just talked about, the old Llama, which is basically focusing on the 65 billion parameter model. You have Konako 65 billion parameters model. You also have Bloom, which is focusing on the 176 billion parameter model. And these are the different types of models that are known for their like impressive language generation capabilities as well as their applications in various natural language processing tasks so you have a wide range of different things that you can utilize with different models so that you can fine tune it for a lot of different cases now nextly i want to talk about the next feature which is fine tuning for custom tasks you're able to utilize the pre-trained models by having pedals allow users to fine tune them for their own specific task and this is where you can input your own preferences and scale these large language models from scratch utilizing your own preferences or your own workflows to be implemented for it and this is something that you can easily do and access using google collab so it's fairly easy to run this and this is something that i'll showcase later on in the video so how does this actually operate 
While Petals operates on a collaborative and innovative approach, which we talked about previously, it's quite revolutionary as to the way large language models like Llama and Bloom are utilized in this application. This basic process involves users to basically load a small part of the model into their own local machine. This is where I talked about previously where there's the large language models are split into different chunks and basically when it's loaded into a local machine it is then teamed up with other users around the whole web and you're able to serve the remaining parts of the model and download it similarly together throughout this collaboration and this collaborative effort basically allows for an efficient and distributed inference for fine-tuning different tasks across different models now by dividing the language models into like smaller components or parts you can say pedals is basically able to like ensure that the computational workload is shared amongst different users on the web browser or the web user system now each user loads basically one of these parts into their own machine which creates a network of distributed nodes and collectively it contributes to the model's computation i don't know how it actually operates but it is able to like collaborate with many different users take the computational resources to basically contribute to the model's computation and this collaborative model then loads the processing files that are basically used to significantly improve the overall efficiency and speed of language tasks now it states right here that pedal was actually able to achieve impressive single batch inference speeds with up to six steps per second for llama 2 which is the new model that was recently released for the 70 billion parameter model and this speed up was able to be 10 times more faster than traditional offloading methods and that's absolutely amazing as to how they were actually able to achieve this and it basically makes pedals so well suited for interactive applications such as like chatbots where there's like real-time responses and where the utilization of these real-time methods are actually crucial now from this we can see that pedals is able to leverage the parallel processing capabilities which is able to enable the system to process hundreds of tokens per second in parallel now this parallel inference capability is able to further optimize the overall performance and distribution of models which basically ensures seamless and responsive language generation. This is absolutely remarkable. I highly recommend that you check out the FAQs and the research paper so you can get a better idea as to how it operates. This is just a rough breakdown. There's a lot more complications as to how it runs in the back end. Now, let me go on to the next step where I'll show you how you can actually install it. You can install it locally and you can also install it using Google Colab, which is off of a cloud based system. It's fairly easy. You'll need to paste these two command lines. Uh, obviously, you're going to have to use it off of Linux or Mac OS, but for Windows, you can use your own requirements and check it out in the FAQs but it's fairly easy you just got to paste these commands and then load it up into your system but in this case i'm going to show it how to do it with google colab first things first you're going to have to click connect and run it with your own gpu for before you actually do that you need to change the runtime and set it to your own gpu once that is complete you go on to click on file then click a save uh, copy in your drive so you're utilizing it in your own drive cloud now once that is done you need to install the pedals file as well as the packages that are required for this amazing application then you're able to load the actual distributed model and this is where you start with the easiest task and this is by creating a distributed model and using it to generate text and this is where you load the whatever model that you want and start inputting it into this obviously you can utilize the llama 65 billion model but you can also use the llama to 70 billion parameter model you're also able to utilize many of the different things like Konako and bloom and so if you really want to utilize it you can input it and copy the actual model name as well as the link to the hugging face model card and paste it there now you're able to generate text there's a tutorials on everything that is sent to you over here so if you want to generate text it shows you how to actually do it uh, if you want to generate tokens on the fly and make chatbots, it shows you the steps to do so. You're able to do this by utilizing the architecture of pedals. Now, due to the actual length of this video, I'm not going to be able to actually showcase how to 
step-by-step -step fine tune or basically adapt your own model to be fine tuned because this video is too long but i definitely recommend that you check out the tutorial so you can get a better idea there's steps to actually showcase how you can actually do it it's fairly easy to run it you just click on the play button and you're able to start implementing implementing what you want it to actually do so if you want to write your own chatbot simple chatbot you can give it the prompt and it can do so utilizing the different model that you have now in this case you can see that there's steps as to how you can do it how to actually make the chatbot follow instructions there's steps to showcase how it actually operates there's code that demonstrates this there's prompt tuning as well as fine tuning for trainable adapters and lastly you have the custom sampling methods that could be used to help now you're also able to share this which you can see over here but if you want the full focus as to how you can get started by fine tuning and utilizing llama or any other model you can do so by checking out the packages and running the client off of google collab now if you want more information on this or if you want me to make a more detailed video as to how you can do this with your own models i'll definitely do so i'll try my best to download it on my local host so i can showcase how you can actually do so but with that thought guys i hope you got some sort of value out of this amazing project it's able to represent and it's quite pioneering to see that this project is able to reshape and basically like inspire so many people to run large language models by adopting to a decentralized bit torrent like style architecture it's quite innovative and i definitely see this project inspiring a lot of people to create such projects to have such innovative approaches to fine tune and to work smarter with fine tuning these models so i hope you got some sort of value out of this video i really appreciate all the support guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you give world of ai on twitter a follow if you guys haven't already subscribe turn the notification bell like this video and if you guys haven't seen my previous videos please do so and with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys very shortly peace out fellas